Hey guys, Tanya here, and this is the background and the rules for the Star Sign Legacy Challenge that we are starting. The um, cast and the sim is already up on the channel. I can link them in the description if you want to go watch me make the sim for this challenge and build her little house for her. Genova Sims created this challenge, so we are on her Tumblr page, which will be linked in the description, as will her Twitter and her YouTube. So what is the Star Sign Legacy Challenge? It is a 12 generation legacy challenge based on the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Each generation will have a different set of goals and requirements before the new heir takes over. Um, your rules. Aging must be turned on, but you can have it at any length you wish. I recommend a long, but it's entirely your choice. Each goal must be met before the new heir takes over. You cannot give the Sims drastic makeovers or personality adjustments. Slight changes to the appearance are fine, but they can't be made into a whole new Sim. No money cheats at all. If you do this challenge, please credit me. Vague guidelines and suggestions. The heir can be any gender. They don't have to be female. They can also be any sexuality. Children don't have to be genetic. They can be adopted, but they must be adopted as a baby or toddler if you choose that route. Mods and custom content can be used. The generations will offer three traits. You do not need the heir to have all three traits, but they must have at least two of them. If you cannot add any of the required traits when their heir is a child, you are able to choose another trait and change it to the correct trait when available, either as a teen or a young adult. You can do this through cheats and casts, but the same rule applies that you must have at least two of the offered traits by the time the heir is a young adult. If you do not have all the packs required to complete the requirements for each generation, either find a similar alternative or skip that rule. But where possible, you must complete each generation requirement. Optional, I have assigned each generation a color. You don't have to follow this at all, or you can only use it as much as you want. You don't need a whole yellow house with a sim only dressed in yellow. For example, it's up to you. Optional, I've also given every generation a different theme to name their children. Again, this is all optional. You can ignore this. I just thought it would be fun and add a little extra challenge by coming up with different names you might not always use. Use the hashtag star sign challenge on tweets, posts, and videos. <coughs> Inspiration. I am aware there are other Zodiac inspired legacy challenges, but I've never done one myself and I didn't read others before creating my own. I wanted to make sure all of the generations were entirely my own without feeling like I took inspiration from other challenges. All of the personalities and requirements are based on stereotypes of the signs. Thank you. So she is giving shout outs to three amazing people who really helped out with this challenge. Without them, this challenge wouldn't be how it is now. Sushio Sims. Uh, the Hungry Simmer in Sims Boo. Obviously, this will be linked if you would like to go read all of that. Um, the Generations. Generation 1 is what we are beginning, and it is Aries. You have always been an independent and confident person. Even since childhood, you knew what you wanted to do and had a plan to get there. You dreamed of becoming, no, you would become a politician with the aim of making the world a better place. You wouldn't let anything get in your way and put all your efforts into climbing to the top in the world of politics. You make friends with like-minded people and bump heads with those you don't get on with as well. Your main issue is that you have never liked and when people, you have never liked it when people tell you what to do. You often get easily frustrated when you think people are saying that you're unable to do something. You never turn down a challenge and have always been extremely passionate about all of your interests. Anything bold and daring, you'd try it. The first time you visit Mount Kimurabi, you know this is where you want to be. The snowy slopes mean that you can spend as much time as you want rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding, anything to give you an adrenaline boost. You live for a life of thrills, always on the edge, heart racing. You have always been loyal, sticking by your friends through thick and thin. It's the same in relationships. In your eyes, love is built on trust and loyalty, and you would never forget this. You always fight for what you believe is right and support the people you love no matter what. Requirements. Any partner must be a good friend before you start romancing them. Never cheat on a partner. You must never initiate a breakup or divorce, but your partner can if it fits the story. Never go down without a fight. If anyone is negative towards you first, you must use at least three mean or mischievous actions straight away. Master any extreme sport, have at least two tattoos, dye your hair a bright color at least twice in your young adult life, get pregnant or get someone pregnant from a public woohoo. When your firstborn child is a toddler, adopt a puppy. When this dog becomes an elder, adopt another puppy so you have two dogs in your household. You should keep repeating this so your children always have at least two dogs in the house. Reach at least level seven of the politics career. Reach at least level three of the extreme sports enthusiast. 
optional requirements, master all of the extreme sports, woohoo in five different locations, have the adrenaline seeker lifestyle, make sure you have enough household funds to give your heir 30k when they're ready to move out, reach level 10 of the politics career, complete the extreme sports enthusiast aspiration, give children a winter themed names. Um, your traits are hot-headed, self-assured, and adventurous. She is using my sim is using all three of those. Extreme sports enthusiast is the aspiration. Career is politics, the politician branch, and the color is navy blue. Okay, so here is our girl's um, childhood home she grew up in. Mom and her gardening. Um, daddy raised chickens. She... She loved her childhood home. She loved growing up very close with her dad, close with her mom. The day of her 18th birthday, they planned a trip to Mount Kimurabi together as a family to go check out the slopes, everything else. Here she's showing pictures, asking mom about it. Like, can we go? Mom says, yes, let me get done what I'm doing and we'll head over there. So they're getting ready to head out on vacation. They get to Mount Kamarabi and she just enjoys everything about it. She falls in love from the very minute she steps foot in Mount Kamarabi. They are on vacation, her, her mom, and her dad. She goes out and decides to take a look at what is to be offered there and then she decides to stop at the vending machines and she gets her everything she needs to go enjoy the slopes she gets her some bug repellent because she doesn't know really anything about this place at this moment um so she does that and then she goes and tests out the slopes and I mean she is just she is in love with this world she's in love with this town all she can think about from this moment is living there like she's just like I have to live here I'm 18 my parents have to understand this is where I want to be this is what I want to do with my life so after their vacation they head home and she just immediately stops at the front porch and is like that's it guys this is where i want to be i have to go live there mom's like i understand honey you got to do what's best for you give it a shot we'll give you some money to help you get your first place and get settled we are very excited to be your backbone and to support you in your dreams and everything that you want to accomplish you can you have always been a wonderful child and you've got a strong heart and a strong head you've got this so they give her her money and boom she buys a cute little house 